this is the structure of observer pattern we will see how this is implemented in php source here is the class subject it has data item observers array here is the method attach it has observer object as parameter and inside this it adds this object to the data item observers array here is the method detach it gets observer object as parameter here is the method notify inside this it traverses the data item observers array and calls the method update for each observer to update the observers here is the class concrete subject derived from class subject it has data item state here is the method set state it has variable value as parameter inside this it sets the data item state with this value and then it calls the method notify so it will come here and it will traverse the observers array and it will call the method update for each observer to update the observers here is the method get state it returns the data item state value here is the abstract class observer it has abstract method update here is the class concrete observer a derived from class observer it has data item state and concept here is the constructor of concrete observer a it has concrete subject object as parameter inside this it sets the data item concept with this object and then it calls the method attach of concrete subject object and here it is passing itself as parameter so it will come here and it will add the concrete observer a object to the data item observers array here is the method update here it is getting the data item state of concrete subject and updating it to data item state of observer here is the class concrete observer b derived from class observer it has data item state and concept this is the constructor of concrete observer b it has concrete subject object as parameter and it sets the data item concept with this object and then it attaches the concrete observer b object to the concrete subject so it will come here and it will attach the observer object to the observer list which is nothing but a adding of observer object to the observers array here is the method update inside this it gets the state of concrete subject and and assigns it to data item state of concrete observer b and here it just displays the data item state value okay we will see how all this is used here we are creating concrete subject object and we are assigning to the variable concept obj and here we are creating concrete observer a object and we are passing the concrete subject as parameter so it will come here and it will 
set the data item consub with this concrete subject object and then it will attach this observer to the concrete subject object so basically it is coming here and it is adding the observer into the observers array similarly now concrete observer b is added to the observers array of subject concrete subject and then here we are calling the method set state of concrete subject object so it will come here it will set the data item state with the value 1 which is passed here and then it will call the method notify so it will come here it will traverse the observers array first element in observer a array is concrete observer a object so here it is calling method update so since the element in data item observers array is concrete observer a object so it will come here it will get the state from concrete subject which is right now one so data item state will be having the value one and here it will display the state value one then it calls the method update on the next element of the observers array next element is concrete observer b object so it will come here it will get the state from concrete subject which is one so the value one will be assigned to data item state and here it will display the value one okay we will run this program and we will see the output so we can see when this is called it comes here and it sets the value one to data item state then it calls the method notify so it will come here first it will go to the concrete observer a update as observers array has first element concrete observer a object so it will come here it will display this you can see this and it will get the data item state value of concrete subject and will assign to data item state then it will display the value of a state so state is 1 then it calls the method update of the next element of data item observers which is concrete observer b object So it comes here, it displays this value inside concrete observer B update. It gets the data item state value from the concrete subject and assigns to data item state of concrete observer A. And then it displays the value of the state which is 1. So it displays this and state is 1.